Hey guys, it's Jim Bounds at Motorhome Rehab Ranch. This video today is going to be about the original Dash AC blower electrical circuit. Here recently there have been several threads on Facebook about different problems that people are having and folks were throwing out different things. Let me tell you all about that circuit so you'll you'll understand everything now this is going to be one of the discussions so it's going to be 10 to 15 minutes and, then, and I'll, I'll stop it and then we'll start another discussion and we'll run it straight through because there's more here in this rabbit hole to talk about than 10 minutes okay? the dash ac blower box the box underneath the dash was the same through all the years but there were three different iterations of it <clears throat> style one two and three Style one was 73 and 74, uh, and you had very little air movement. All right, there were a lot of air blocks and stuff in the dash, so you, consequently you didn't get a lot of air, a lot of dash AC air. Uh, in 75 uh, and six, they added a set of vents underneath the dash that when you put it on AC. A baffle opened up and blew all the air, <clears throat> all the AC air, out those two metal da uh, vents, <clears throat> which gave you more air, but it made all the other vents off because air is going to go to the path of least resistance, and they made that a short uh, uh, distance or a short resistance to get out, and that's where all the air went. 77 and 78, they reconfigured the blowing system, and you did have air coming out of all vents. Of course, that's if all the vacuum uh, dash pot system actually worked, which if your vacuum system doesn't work, honestly, it's not worth fixing. You go, what? Because those dash pots are, are actually uh, riveted into the back of the dash. So to, to, to access those and to fix those, you'd have to take the dash apart. And honestly, what we thought, felt if I could get cold air out of something in the dash when it was hot outside, <laughs> and I could get hot air out of something in up front when it's when it's uh, cold outside, I have to call that good enough because it's just too much labor. Now, if you want to do it, there the vacuum system <clears throat> comes off the engine and on the on the right hand side of the radiator uh, core support under the driver front hood is a round uh, uh, vacuum. Uh, canister vacuum comes off the engine into that out of that there's a line going into the dash to your control panel and then from there it goes all the different pots and there's a there's a wafer in the middle that goes bad all kinds of stuff there's good reason why it's not working if it's not uh, uh, GM never figured it would work this long so we're not going to talk about the, the ducting system or the vacuum system at all what I'm talking about is the blower system now on all the years, <clears throat> you can open up diaphragms and stuff, and you can get air to blow out, all right? So what we're going to talk about today is the electrical part and the dash AC blower system. Now, this is a picture. These pictures will be on at the bottom of, the, uh, of this video. This is a picture up underneath the passenger front hood, and uh, some some features you'll, you'll see is your your uh, boost uh, solenoid right here, which you know the right hand side of that is your engine electrical system. The left side is your living area electrical system. Okay, just above that right here, you have vehicle battery positive. Okay, just to the right of the vehicle battery positive now is what we're gonna talk about. That is that little box right there. Okay, it's got two uh, screws, two Phillips head screws holding it down. There are two connectors going into it. One connector has a black and an orange wire, a two wire connector. The other wire is a three wire connector and it has a blue, a purple, and a red with a white streamer wire on it. Okay, I want you to find that. Now, uh, if that, if that uh, blower relay, and I'll explain what it does in a minute, looks rough, <clears throat> uh, replace it. It's readily available. The brand, uh, one brand is standard brand, and the part number is RY12. Another brand is Everco. Uh, 2411 is the Everco number. 
Now, just to keep it in mind, this is the same blower relay that the uh, electro, the air ride system, electro level and electro level two used back in the back. Okay, not the power level, but electro level, electro level two use the same blower relay to control uh, the uh, compressor. Right. right. This this relay this relay right here. If you look at the bottom of it, it it's an it's an oval relay. And it has two terminals here, and it has three here. This is looking straight down onto it, right? This is the primary side. You'll have a ground wire going here, and then this is an orange wire. Okay? Now, this side, this is the secondary side. This is the control side. Okay? Closest to the wall, you will have a blue wire. Here, you'll have a purple wire, and uh, here, closest uh, to you, will be a red wire with a with a, a white streamer. Okay, so that's to help you identify where it is and all that kind of stuff. But this is this is the main center for the blower relay because <clears throat> on your dash. The control that goes up and down is your blower control. Now, when it's all the way down, have you ever noticed when it's all the way off, you'd say off is off, right? But there's always a little bit of noise going on, right? Well, off is not off. Off is super low. Off uh, is vent. Remember back in the old days when they had the louvered, uh, had the vents on the driver past your uh, doors so you can open it up all the way and get some air or you could open it up a little bit and it would <clears throat> you get a scavenge effect well they stopped that in like 70 uh, I don't know two somewhere around in there what GM did <coughs> is called astro ventilation I don't know why they call it that cute name but what it's doing is in what you would think of as off <clears throat> it continually vents. It's got a slow, slow vent. It continually moves the air, so it's not dead air. <clears throat> That's the idea of those those vents on the doors. Now, <clears throat> if you want it to go off, if you, I'm tired of that thing going is being low. Okay, that can be done, but understand if you do that, if you leave the dash AC on, which almost everybody does. You leave the dash AC on, but turn turn the blower off. If the blower truly goes off, it'll freeze up your air conditioner because that slow astro ventilation moves air across the uh, evaporator coils and keeps it from freezing up. Okay, so you want to think about that. All right, but if you do, as we go along and talk, I'll get at a point I can tell you how to turn that off. All right. So this blower relay right here is the main ingredient for your dash AC blower. Okay, your dash AC blower, as you look into the passenger compartment and look to the right, right there, if you can see it, yeah, there's the back of the motor sticking out right there. So let's draw that <coughs> over here, okay? And coming off the middle of the motor, right here, here's your motor. There's a, the, the metal flange has got screws in it all along here. There's like six screws. They're five sixteenths hex screws. <clears throat> and what they're doing, there's some uh, butyl tape under there, and they are holding the motor assembly into the fiberglass fiberglass uh, dash heat box okay now but these screws go into fiberglass actually fiberglass to hold that blower motor in okay now on the back side of this motor and I'll draw it right here is an insulation sticking out and it has a 
a male spade connector. You've seen, you know, where you've got a male spade and, a, and the female section and they go together. Uh, right here is a male spade connector sticking out of this blower motor. And the purple wire here coming off this blower motor will go over here, will end up going to the blower. And that's the feed. The purple wire off of this blower motor is the feed to the, uh, to the blower motor. Now, it doesn't go directly to it because over on one of these screws is a tab <coughs> and a cylinder, which is a, uh, a noise reducer for the radio because this will create uh, EMF, uh, electromotive force. It'll create a wave and it could be noise to your, uh, to your radio. But I tell you what, I think it's because the, and this is standard on every GM vehicle, but I think it's because our vehicle's so big, <clears throat> I have never heard any blower noise or any alternator noise for that matter uh, on these uh, motorhomes because I think there's enough ground that it dissipates any differential. So we don't really have a problem with uh, with noise, so this this noise filter I feel is redundant, and if it shorts out, uh, it blows up stuff. So if you take this purple wire, you follow this purple wire, you will see it go into this noise filter. Okay, out of the noise filter, you'll see that it goes right to there. Okay. Now <clears throat> I'm going to talk to you about modifications to make this thing work better. Okay. So the first modification is do away with that. Come up with a now. This is a, a this is a normal uh, uh, eighteen or uh, uh, sixteen gauge wire. <clears throat> there could be thirty amps worth of current flowing through that thing. I want a larger wire. So from here, which is a uh, a spade connector, a uh, male spade connector, get an eight gauge wire, create a connector. Uh, 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 a jumper that goes from the center terminal on this through arc connector over to the spade connector sticking out of the motor. One and use an eight gauge wire. Yeah, bigger. The larger gauge you put to it, the less you'll have a voltage drop and the more current you'll send to it. So we want to put an eight gauge wire, new wire. Now, you say, well, what about this three wire connector here? Well, if you look at it, you'll see it's probably melted uh, because uh, resistance is heat. And where the highest resistance is, is gonna get hot. And that happens to be this blower relay right here. And it happens to be the connectors going into it. So chances are you'll find this connector is either really melted bad or has been replaced by single connectors. And what we wanna do is we wanna replace all that with single connectors. So we want to use a single spade female connector coming off of here with an eight gauge wire running directly to the blower motor. Make sense? All right. Now, remember this. Current flows, actually it flows from uh, uh, negative to positive. We're not going to get into the whole theory. But wherever you have a, a current flow here, it's also got to get to ground, doesn't it? All right. Now, on the metal plate, on the wall there you will find a a uh, a terminal I believe it's a Phillips head screw with a black wire that comes over and goes to one of these these hex 516 screws that's the ground for this motor but think about something remember I told you that these screws go into fiberglass well, so what's happening is this ground wire is being held on the metal by the screw, by the pressure of the screw, but it's not taking purchase or it's not actually bit into this metal plate, right? So here's what we want to do. We want to take that ground wire out, put the screw back in, get a, a, a little short, like a quarter inch self-tap and screw with a self-tapper, okay? Go right out to the far edge because remember, inside is a squirrel cage fan. And we don't want to put a screw into the fan. <laughs> so come out to the far outside of this metal plate and pop a screw and tag the metal, actually connect to the metal. 
and then make an eight gauge wire. You say, why eight gauge? Because you got eight gauge flowing in, you got eight gauge flowing out. If you don't do that, uh, they'll have a backup or you won't flow eight gauge worth of current because at some point it's smaller. So we want an eight gauge ground. We want an eight gauge power wire going to the uh, blower motor and uh, blower relay, all right? So replace that and go to a different screw. Take it off of that original screw and put a new screw down here and screw it down. All right, now, we're at about 15 minutes, so we talked before, this is a discussion. So I'm gonna break this right now, have, have a, a drink, and then I, we're gonna come right back and we're gonna pick up here. Great, we'll see you then.